Okay. So I'll create a storage account first. Okay. Create a storage. Select to resource group. And whatever the name you you given over here, so that should be unique name. Okay. So I'll give uh, Ashik one two three four five six. Okay. So this is my storage. Ashik one two three four five six. Okay. So I'm going to deploy this storage in used East region. Advanced. Okay. So if I come to advanced option, networking option. Okay. Here you can see there are a lot of option data production encryption. Okay. So here you can see that encryption type. We have a two kinds of encryption. The first we already learned MMK. So Microsoft managed key. Another one is customer managed keys. Okay. So we will learn what is a SSC storage service encryption. Okay. So, uh, two uh, two types. One is Microsoft managed keys. Another one is CMK customer managed keys. Note it down this as well. MMK. MMK. Okay. Note it down. Microsoft managed keys, customer managed keys. Okay. So we cannot disable this option. So by default, it will be enabled either one. Okay. Either Microsoft managed keys, another one customer managed key. So who having access to these keys, they can only access your storage account. Okay. So because whenever you return any data into the storage account, automatically the data will be encrypted by using MMK. What is MMK? Microsoft managed keys. So if you want, if you want to protect your data a little bit higher, then definitely you can go off the CMK as well. Customer managed key. Okay, I can create a key. See, if I go to customer managed key, so I can create a key from here. Yes. I have another service I can use it. Okay. So as of now, I will select this MMK. Other Storage service encryption. So under storage service encryption, so we have MMK and CMK. Okay. So review. So it went for the validation. Once it uh, complete the validation, then I will try to create this virtual machine. Okay. So create. So what is the data in transit encryption? Data in transit encryption. What does it mean? Data transfer. Huh. Well, data transfer exactly. See, uh, here you can see that uh, I have a lock pad icon over here, right? So what does it mean? It's protected, right? See, suppose if I'm uploading any data from my local system, the data is encrypted by using SSL. Or HTTPS. Okay, so that's what they claim. So we have an option data in uh, transit encryption. Okay, by the help of HTTPS protocol. Okay, so now the storage is getting creating. So meanwhile, I will try to create one uh, Ubuntu machine and as well as one Windows machine as well. Okay, so I'll go to Visual Machine VM. First, I'll create a Windows virtual machine, same as I'll create a Ubuntu machine as well. So, Azure virtual machine. So, then select your resource group. Uh, then select virtual machine name. So, I'll select Ubuntu, sorry, Windows. So, I'll create this uh, re, uh, virtual machine in US Central region. Okay. Because, see, even if you created that storage account, regardless of any region, we can access. Right? Because that is exposed publicly. Right? So, I'm not creating that in a particular VPC or region. That's what. So, I'll select availability zone 1, or else I can go with a no infrastructure redundancy required. Select your Ubuntu system, then create a username and password. So, I'll select Ashik. Ashik, Ashik, at the right one. Okay. Then review plus create. Eh? Fire, fire. Create. Initialize and deploy. Let's wait. So once you start deployment, then I will try to create a Windows machine as well. Okay. So the benefit of file sharing is we can attach, we can mount uh, this file share with the Windows, Linux or Mac OS. Okay. Regardless of any operating system, we can mount. So okay, now I will so create one more virtual machine uh, that will be in a uh, Windows operating system. Okay. Create a virtual machine. Select your resource group. So this can be Windows. Same region. So select your Windows virtual machine. Ashik, Ashik, 
Dankeschön. Okay. So I'll create this virtual machine, RV plus create. Windows I don't know actually what time they are going, they are going to do the demo and all but uh, once he free like uh, Subair and uh, Farhan then they will take demo okay. so do your best bro Eh? Topic, I don't know. Okay, which topic are you going to take, bro? Eh? Azure, okay, which topic? We actually we have a bunch of topic, right? <laughs> actually, since last three months, actually, we are running this Azure. That's what I'm asking. Eh? What? Okay, no, no, no. Actually, I'm taking this last three months, okay? Okay, which topic are you going to take over there? We need a virtual machine. Fine. Okay. <laughs> Do it, do it, okay. No, I anyway, today, okay, today, confirm, okay. Because Azure actually is not free, that's what. Okay, uh, successfully, okay, listen. Successfully, I created uh, one Linux Windows, Linux virtual machine and as well as one Windows virtual machine. Okay. I'll try to access my uh, Linux virtual machine first, then I will try to mount my storage account. Okay. Let me just copy this. How to connect a Linux machine? Sussex. Sussex? Minus. Minus? I? Don't you know Oh, minus or Okay. See, since, since I configure this as password, I not required minus I. Okay. See, suppose if I have a uh, yes, such key. So at that time, I need to pass minus i then my key file. Okay. So as of now, my server doesn't have a SSH key, right? Password. So what I can do here, I can pass the username at the right my public IP address, then hit enter. Automatically, I'll be getting a prompt for password. I can enter my password, I can log into my account. Fingerprint. Huh? Fingerprint? Yo. Okay, I successfully uh, logged into my uh, Linux machine. Okay, so here you can see that Windows, uh, but uh, it's a Linux machine. Okay, by mistake, I can actually given Windows. Okay, so now I'll go to my storage account. Let me go to storage account first. Okay, I'll create a file sharing first. Go to file shares, then try to create a file share. I'll go to file share. I'll create a file share over here. So my file share name is uh, storage file. Okay. So then I will create. Okay, successfully created a file share. You can see over here storage file. Right. I will open this. So as usual, uh, we already learned like uh, how to connect a file share with a Windows machine. Right. So we have an option to connect. So we can just click over here, then we can select our operating system Windows. Right. So if it is a Linux, Linux operating system, I can select Linux, then I can uh, select the storage file, show transcript, uh, sorry, show script, then you can copy the script, then I can paste over there. So let me check whether it's a working or not, because actually we have to enable one SMB port as well. Okay. So maybe by default it will be enabled, let me check that first. I'll go to my uh, virtual machine, then paste over here. Paste. Okay, then hit enter. Okay, I think uh, successfully it's created. So let me check actually where it is mounted successfully. Okay, etc, ashik, ashik, okay, credential. You'll be able to find one directory over here. So you're able to find any directories. MNT storage file. Are you able to see this? Mm -hmm. See, uh, they created a directory 
എം കെ ഡി ഐ ആർ മേക്ക് എ ഡിറക്ടറി ദെൻ എം എൻ ടി സ്റ്റോറേജ് ഫയൽ ഐ ഗോ ടു എം എൻ ടി സ്റ്റോറേജ് ഫയൽ ലിറ്റ് മീ ഗോ ടു സി ഡി സ്ലാഷ് എം എൻ ടി ദെൻ സ്റ്റോറേജ് ഫയൽ ഓക്കെ ഓക്കെ ഐ ഡോണ്ട് ഹാവ് എനി ഫയൽസ് ഓവർ ഇയർ റൈറ്റ് ഓക്കെ സോ ഐ ട്രൈ ടു ക്രിയേറ്റ് എ എം ടി ഫയൽ ദെൻ ഐ ഗോ ടു മൈ സ്റ്റോറേജ് അക്കൗണ്ട് ആൻഡ് ദ എം ടി ഫയൽ വിൽ ബി പിസിബിൾ ഓവർ ഇയർ ഓക്കെ സോ ലെറ്റ് മീ ഗോ ടു എം ടി ഫയൽ ഫസ്റ്റ് ദെൻ ടച്ച് I can create 100 files or 10 files at a time. So I'll create file. Then I will choose 1 to 10. 10 file has to be created over here. Okay. Successfully created 10 files, right? I'll go to my uh, storage account. So let me just refresh. You can see that 10 file has been created. Right. So now what I will do here, the same step. I'll try to log in my Windows machine. Then I will uh, connect my uh, this storage file with my Windows machine. Then I'll check whether this file is visible or not. Okay, so at a time simultaneously you can integrate this file share with the Linux, Windows, Mac operating system. Okay, you can have up to 1000 to 2000 system. You can connect. Terminal. 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 Yes, but I don't have to go to the terminal. So you can directly you can go to Mac operating system, show script. Okay, you can copy the script and uh, directly you can go to Mac operating system terminal, command prompt, wherever it is. So then you can paste over there. Okay. Okay. Eh? എത്ര സിമ്പിൾ ആണ് നോക്കി ഇറ്റ്സ് ക്വയറ്റ് സിമ്പിൾ റൈറ്റ് ആക്ച്വലി വി നോ നീഡ് ടു ഡു എനി കോൺഫിഗറേഷൻ വി നോ നീഡ് ടു എനേബിൾ എനി പോഡ് ആസ് വെൽ റൈറ്റ് ദാറ്റ്സ് ഇറ്റ് ദാറ്റ്സ് ഇറ്റ് ജസ്റ്റ് ക്രിയേറ്റ് എ വെർച്വൽ മെഷീൻ ദെൻ യു ക്യാൻ കോപ്പി പേസ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് നോട്ട് ഓൺലി ദിസ് സി സപ്പോസ് ഐ ഹാവ് എ ലോക്കൽ മെഷീൻ ഓക്കെ ആൻഡ് സപ്പോസ് ഇഫ് യു വോണ്ട് ടു യൂസ് ദ സെയിം ഡിസ്ക് വാട്ട് യു ക്യാൻ ഡു ഹിയർ യു ക്യാൻ കോപ്പി ദ സ്ക്രിപ്റ്റ് ദെൻ യു ക്യാൻ ഗോ ടു യുവർ വിൻഡോ സിസ്റ്റം ദെൻ യു ക്യാൻ പേസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ആൻഡ് യു വിൽ ബി ആബിൾ ടു ആക്സസ് ദ സെയിം ഡിസ്ക് okay so that's the benefit only one storage uh, like uh, disk we can access from uh, like a different different devices okay so let me quickly uh, just log in to my windows virtual machine i'll try to mount over there so this is my windows 2 i'll go to overview then connect then click rdp try to download the rdp file okay because automatically the ip address will be binded with this rdp file that's what okay so successfully downloaded open this okay see i now need to add my public ip address automatically ip address added with this rdp file okay then connect so enter username and password i'll go to my username as ashik and password is ashik ashik at the rate 123 okay then click s yes. ഞാനോ <laughs> 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 ഓപ്ഷൻ <laughs> 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 anyway successfully i logged into my windows virtual machine so let me just close this window okay i'll go to my powershell so we already learned this right okay anyway i'm just re- reiterating once again powershell so let me just open as administrator so i'll copy this file from okay script from my storage uh, go to linux windows so i'll select uh, uh, drive letter z or else we can select any other letter see u okay once you select the letter over here automatically uh, the script will be changed see so here you can see that automatically the name has been changed u right whatever the name i given over here u if i given m you can see that the drive letter then will be m automatically change the script okay we no need to change so then copy this then go to your windows virtual machine then paste over here okay 
So it will try to connect our storage account first. Okay, waiting for the response. So once you get the response, then we will be able to mount this file. Okay, successfully done. Okay, see, uh, CMD key credential added successfully. Okay, I'll go to my my computer. So that I will be able to find the file share with the 10 files, empty files. Okay, go to this PC. You can see that storage file, right? I'll open this and here you can see that 10 files I have. The 10 files I can see in my window, Linux, in my local system, I can go with the Mac operating system as well. Regardless of any operating system you can use. Okay, respectively. Any other doubts? How to mount a file system with the Linux and Windows? Any other doubts? No doubts.